I'm beginning this segment of the Melody Machines with just the music and the illustration. I'm staying off camera myself. This is really a radio piece and you never see the actors in radio pieces anyway. And the important thing now is just to link the music with the illustration. You can see how the melodies that go up are mirrored by the melodies that go down. And with each variation, one voice moves up or down a degree. It's practically the same logic as in the chord catalog and other pieces. But here the rhythms share the same intervals as the pitches. That happens in other pieces too, but the result is particularly clear here. Radio is rarely considered an artistic medium, though writers and composers have done wonderful radio pieces. John Cage, Samuel Beckett, and Mauricio Cago, for example. I always loved radio where I could just visualize the actors and the musicians in my own way. And believe that the closing door was a real door really closing. And I could believe that everything was actually happening in real time, which was the case in the 50s. I never composed much with electronic sounds because I wanted to present my music in concerts. And it's ridiculous to go to a concert hall just to watch a machine. But on radio, everything is invisible, which makes a good context for electronic sounds. The square wave you are hearing here is about the only sample I ever listened to on my Atari in this period. Most synthesizers, even today, try to imitate musical instruments. Da, 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 da. But this square wave isn't trying to imitate anything. It's just a good, honest electronic sound. Da, 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 da. The only character in this piece is a crazy little man who spends his time inventing melody machines, and he's happy to let visitors hear them. Da, 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 da. That's me playing the role in the German production in 1997. This character says he particularly likes this machine, which he calls Yo-Yo, because it just keeps going up and down. Sie steigt immer auf, nur herab zu fahren. He also likes the fact that it stops regularly, as if it's waiting for him to say something. He says he sometimes has long conversations with this machine, which always pauses, giving him time to reply. The piece was never produced in English, but it was done very well by Radio France as Les Machines Melodiques and by WDR as the Melody Machine. That was all 21 years ago, and I have trouble remembering the other melody machines, but I always remember this one. In fact, I go back to this recording rather often just to listen to it. 
My character loves this machine too and apparently listens to it often. But sometimes its perfection bothers him. How can a dumb machine like that be so faultless? She never makes any mistakes at all. Ich werde sie abschalten. So, the melody machine maker gets so frustrated by the perfection of this machine that he just turns it off, can't stand it anymore. And we get a little tragedy as uh, Yo-Yo dies, at least for the moment. But this is only a fragment of the piece. The entire broadcast was about 30 minutes. And during this 30 minutes, he shows you four other machines. One is um, makes pretty little electronic sounds, the name is Daphne. And then there's Boom Boom, which means Boom Boom Boom. And uh, another one which he calls Die Fliege, which is um, makes little electronic flies, like a couple of little electronic flies flying around. And uh, the other one is kind of a, a clock that he can set up and back, and which is programmed to make a certain music uh, in the future. And he realizes, hey, I could set this ahead. In fact, I'll set it way ahead so that we can be the first people to hear the music of the 21st century. And this is still in 1997. So that amuses him to, to play the first music of the 21st century. Uh, so that uh, I'm, you're not going to hear uh, the other four machines. But uh, at the end, they all come together. And we're going to play a little bit of the mixture with all the machines coming together, which is, um, comes on with the credits at the end of the program. Vedea, produced by Carl Schoening. Die Melodiemaschinen von Tom Johnson. Regie. Ein Brühl und Tom Johnson. Entschuldigen Sie bitte, alles ist ein bisschen ungeordnet. Ich muss ein bisschen ausräumen. Alle diese Maschinen gleichzeitig, das ist zu viel. Du, du bist. Äh Sehr lieb, aber ich will dir ausschaden. Und du? Tut mir leid. Ja, und diese auch. Ja, du auch. <lacht> 